Congratulations to Emily Treadwell. To claim your lightsaber, email me using the email in the description down below. There are still more lightsabers to be won, so if you would like to enter to win one, all you have to do is like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, turn on notifications, and tell me in the comments what your favorite lightsaber is. Before the Jedi Order would crumble with the ascension of the Empire and Darth Sidious to power, the Order of Jedi Knights were instilled with strict rules and regulations as to how to conduct the powerful organization. One of the most important rules that the Order lived by was that they were only to train potential Jedi either directly following the birth or just slightly afterwards. The reasoning behind this was puzzling to some members of the galaxy whose children were force sensitive. However, most were willing to sacrifice their children to the Order, knowing that they would accomplish much good for the galaxy. But what is the exact reasoning behind why most Jedi must be trained at such a young age? To fully understand this, we must first look at the different aspects of the Jedi philosophy. A common misconception is that Jedi are not allowed to love, when in reality this isn't actually accurate at all. Jedi are actually allowed to love, but that love should be on a grander scale than themselves. Something that this is confused with is that a Jedi is not allowed to form attachments, as that is proven before as an easy path down the dark side of the Force. Children are taken by Jedi to become Jedi at such a young age because of this attachment. If a child was taken later in their life, they could grow to resent the Jedi Order during times of trial, where they would think back to their lost family and former life, instead of the task at hand. This has actually occurred several times within the Order. The second apprentice of the Jedi Master Qui-Gon Jinn, Xanatos, experienced this and was taken by Jinn at an older age than is common for most Jedi trainees. Because of this, when Jinn and Xanatos came into conflict with Xanatos' own father, he joined him and fell to the dark side of the Force, as he was unable to let go of this attachment. Later, Anakin Skywalker would also experience something similar. Because of this, for one of the first times in his life, he embraced the dark side by slaughtering Tusken Raiders who had kidnapped and tortured his mother because of this attachment. Becoming a Jedi required the most profound commitment and astute mind. The life of a Jedi was one of sacrifice. To hinder transgression, those who showed an aptitude to the Force were taken directly from birth or soon afterward to train in the Jedi Temple headquarters on Coruscant, or at a much smaller Jedi enclave as Jedi Padawans. There are of course several exceptions to this rule, with the earlier mentioned Xanatos and Anakin Skywalker, but on the more successful end of examples, Jedi Master Yoda. Yoda was a simple worker for the first part of his life, but upon learning that he was Force sensitive and after undergoing basic training, fell in well at the Jedi Temple despite his age. Asherod Het was another Jedi initiate taken at a much older age. Although he experienced some basic Jedi training from his father, he was well over the age of 13 when he joined the Jedi Order, much older than Anakin was. Het was really only able to do so because it was his father's dying wish to the Jedi Kiadi Mundi to let his son train as a Jedi, and because Het had lost everything. Another example would of course be Luke Skywalker, who began his official Jedi training well over 20 years old. Luke would later go on to reform part of the Jedi Code when he became Grand Master of the Order, proving that in some cases, a Jedi's attachments are what make them powerful. The Jedi Order wished to instill its students with only the values of the Jedi Order, and went by the philosophy of the Jedi first, second, and always. To a Jedi, there is nothing beyond that and the Force. If you were to be a Jedi, that is what would define you. In the era of the prequels, the Jedi fell into a set way, and therefore feared to stray from it, not realizing attachment can be a powerful and useful thing. This is perfectly illustrated in Empire Strikes Back when the new Jedi in Luke refuses to listen to the warnings and set way of the old Jedi in Yoda. Here, Luke Skywalker makes the correct decision in order to save his friends from Darth Vader. But that is why Jedi had to be trained at such a young age, and some of the pros and cons of this philosophy. But what are some of your thoughts on the subject? Was it wise to train Jedi at such a young age, or ultimately, was it not? Again, congratulations to the next winner of the lightsaber giveaway. To enter for yourselves, follow the rules set at the beginning of the video. Thank you guys as always so much for watching, may the force be with you, and have a great day.